Hey guys, what's going on? Here is my full 30 series rig. Before I show you what it is, I hope everybody is having an awesome day. I know I'm doing good. So this rig here has a, this is a full LHR build, one of every card. I've got a 3060, 3060 Ti, 3070, 3070 Ti, 3080, and a 30 T, 3080 Ti. This kind of got one of everything, just kind of a fun build. It would be nice to have a full rig of EVGA FTW3 models, but some of them aren't. Got a couple of Zotax on there, a couple of, I think they're called XC3 models, just the lower EVGA ones. And then my big cards on here, those ones are all FTW3 models. Maybe someday I'd be able to get that. I'd rather have non-LHR cards, but for now, it's just my fun LHR build. This cart, this rig is running in Hive, and here are the settings right here. So my 3080 Ti is doing about 59 mega hash. These are all on Raven currently, and what I'm going to do is swap these over using the LHR unlock on T-Rex, and we're going to be running Ethereum pretty quick here. So we're at 322 watts for 59 mega hash, memory 2100, power limit 322. So I played a little bit with this power limit on here. It was as high as 325. I had it kept bringing it down to 320, 315. Any lower than 322, and I start to lose some hashes. So I left it here at 322. Seems pretty good right there. On to the 3080. It does 50 mega hash on Raven. At 265 watts, I got 2350 memory. 3070 Ti does about 39 mega hash. At 249 watts, 2200 memory. On to the 3070. I've seen some guys getting about 32 mega hash on these on Raven, but I'm doing any more if I put this memory up. Like I've had it as high as 2800 memory, but I get a lot of rejected shares. So I brought this down to 2500 and it still has five rejected shares. This is over eight days, 17 hours uptime. So that's not, that's not too terrible, you know. Less than a, less than one rejected chair a day, I can handle that. It was a lot higher. I was running like 10 rejected chairs a day when it was at 2,800 memory. So I just kept bringing that down. Seems to be pretty happy around here. So mine's doing 30.8 right now at 150 watts. Watts per performance, you know, 3070 is still the best. That is the best card for efficiency out of any of these 30 series cards that I've found so far. Moving on to the 3060 Ti, I'm doing about 28 mega hash at 165 watts. I got 1600 memory on there. 3060, 135 watts. It's doing 23, about 23 and a half mega hash. 2000 memory. Here we got it in the shell. You can see this is the live number. So they're all pretty close. Like 59, 50, 39, 30.8. 28 and then 23.7 that's pretty good whole rigs doing bounces around a little bit whole rig does about 20 sorry 229 to about 232 mega hash bounces around a little bit we're sitting at 231 right now all on raven so when i swap this over to ethereum we'll check out the difference this is kind of our baseline find out how much this thing's making if you look over here on miner stat for the Ravencoin mining calculator, put in 231 mega hash. Seven day income is about 139 USD. So this is what we're going to compete against with Ethereum. I'm going to swap it over and let's see how it does. Here we are back at the full LHR rig. It has been running on Ethereum for a little while now. It has actually been running for one day and 23 hours with no upsets. I can't remember exactly when I swapped this over, but it was a little while ago. It is running good. LHR lock moves around. You know, we got 70s, 71s, 72, 72.5. Kind of depends on the card. And it is averaging, you can see here, 332 mega hash on Ethereum. So here's something interesting. You jump over to the calculator here. 231 on Raven. Yields us $646 in income. This is not including electricity. Jump over to Ethereum with a 332 hash rate and it's 600 USD. So looks like the 
tables have swung back into Raven Coin's favor. 646 on Raven, 600 on Ethereum. So that's interesting. So last time I checked this on a different rig, Ethereum was more profitable than Raven. And then back a couple months ago when I was checking all these out, Raven always won as well. So I'm wondering if Ethereum winning out was just a small recent little bump there due to some price changes. However, having said that, I'm going to leave this rig on Ethereum for a little bit and just try to get a little bit more of that before ETH 2.0 comes out. And the Raven halving is actually coming up pretty quick here. Here is the Raven halving on nice hash. It's nice of them to create this. Today is December 19th, and we've got 22 days and 17 hours until that Raven halving. So going forward after that, it'll be interesting to see what the price of Raven does. I've been stacking it for quite a while now. I've been mining it for, I don't know, three or four months maybe on all my LHR cards. Now I'm going to be throwing them back on Ethereum again here for a little bit. On this rig here, I haven't changed any of these memory settings. These are all where I had them at Raven. And then these are where I set the cores. 1200 for 3080 Ti, 1060 for 3080, 1500 for the 3070 Ti, 3060 Ti, and 3060. And then we're at 1060 for the 3070. Nice and stable. It's doing okay. Things just humming along here nicely. So this is at 335. If you jump over here on the pool, you can see here the average is 329. Pull along here, we got C310. That must be, that's too close here to when I first started up. So 330, 334 average, 334, 333, average 338. That's nice. 331, 329. So I think calling it 332 is not too far off the mark. That must be the price. Ethereum price must be dropping. Now it's 647 versus 597. Prices must be moving around a little bit. That is that particular rig. It has moved over from Raven to Ethereum, and I will be leaving it here for a little while. You can check out some of my other videos. I'm slowly moving all my rigs over to Ethereum just for a little bit here. They were all, all my LHR cards were on raven prior to the last couple days and now they are all being moved over to ethereum save myself a little bit of power i guess and get a little bit more of those ethereums a little easier to sell those for now get some of that get some of that christmas money pay off some of my rigs here before the new year starts up hope everyone's having an awesome day and i will catch you guys later